fast and so forth so I have to come for, you know, cornmeal porridge. Fast forward when we moved to retirement, no, I was going to Granville All Age. At Granville All Age, I was not a bright student. I could remember when, you know, there was like a little spelling bee and, you know, other children practicing to go to JCD. Sometimes I usually hear they spell like the word honest and I was like, oh shoot, this girl is so bright you know because i was not a fast student um i was not reading well i was not doing much well i was just playful and i was the class clown i was the one who keep everyone alive and for that everyone you know like to have conrad in their space yes. yeah wow. so from there mm -hmm. i go to malden you know that in those times they said malden is not like what they would call not the traditional school it was like the countryside school where the people them who not so bright would go so i went to malden um and what happened at malden was i was not the brightest student as i said before not only that my self-esteem was low in terms of school because you know you have a father who most time he curse you're not gonna turn to nothing you know come out to nothing you understand? So, these stories, remember that as a so child... all of those allow you to feel? What was the feeling emotionally for you? Knowing ah. that at that age, you knew that you weren't doing well in school. And on top of that, you weren't uh, able to get all the things you need financially because you were not going home for lunch. The kids would know that you don't eat lunch at school. You're, you know for yourself that you're not doing well at school. And then at home, it's like that the rain the rainfall it's just messy and then dad is just miserable how was it for you as a child all right um all right to be honest sometime when i when